Good afternoon, Raptors. This is Deary, and I'm greeting you today on May 1st as we move into the next month of this calendar year. Absolutely delighted to be here. Hope that you're doing well. Uh, this is typically a time when we start to make that pivot uh, from spring into summer, and I hope that each of you is uh, taking the opportunity to kind of honor this moment that we're in, enjoying a little bit of the rain, some of the good weather that might be coming forward, but more importantly, knowing that while things look different this year in terms of where we are as a college, uh, we will get through them. MC is strong, and we are here together. I'll also tell you that one thing that has not changed is that Montgomery College and the care that its faculty and its staff demonstrate toward our students is completely uh, just heartwarming. Uh, the compassion that we see for our students and the fact that our students are also demonstrating that same compassion toward each other. It's something that we know that a record number of our students are describing in ways that are helping them, uh, whether it be through tutoring, whether it th be through mentoring, and really powering through to the end of the semester. We know you can do it, and we stand right beside you as you make those transitions from the spring semester into summer. Now, we have some more good news that I really want to share with you about things and ways our community is really continuing to support Montgomery College. In fact, the Montgomery College uh, Foundation received 60 gift cards for Target and Giant for our students uh, who are in need. Uh, this is a very generous gift from the Silver Spring chapter of the Lynx, and I'm so grateful to this organization because it's an organization that believes deeply in women volunteering to serve and uplift the community, dedicated to helping communities with cultural and economic impact. I want to give a special shout out uh, to my sisters in the chapter, but to Dr. Deborah Bright, who is one of our most treasured folks here at the college who really went out and solicited this support. Uh, we're very happy and grateful to her uh, for bringing this idea to the chapter, but more importantly, uh, being able to advocate on behalf of our students. Not a surprise because she does it each and every day, uh, but we're very grateful to her for that. The Montgomery College Foundation also got word that AstraZeneca is delivering 70 laptops for our students uh, to be used. Uh, this is a fantastic gift, and this really comes as a byproduct of the wonderful relationships that we have with local businesses through our Pick MC. Um, we know that this is a local company that has a number of active research projects right now, hopefully leading to a treatment for COVID-19. And we're so grateful to them on many levels. The fact that they thought about our students here at Montgomery College and are supporting them means a lot. Uh, the community uh, around Montgom Montgomery College continues to step in and be very deliberate in their support of us and really helping out. Speaking of which, one of our own staff members is really hard at work in printing face shields to help members of our community, particularly at Holy Cross Health. He's up to 80 now. Go, Greg. Let's see if you can get 100 pretty soon because this is pretty exciting to see happen. I am so proud of Montgomery College's students, our employees, about how we are supporting each other, but also how our local community is supporting us. We are so tremendously fortunate to be in this community where we are right now. Uh, some nonprofits are giving their time and energy. Uh, some are corporations who are reaching out to figure out how to support us and also using their expertise to fight this pandemic uh, that is ra ravaging our globe right now. Uh, more than ever, I have to tell you though, I feel a profound sense of inclusion for our community. One that's really looking at how we can help everyone's needs. Uh, I'm sure that we will get through this together. We will be stronger and better as a community because we'll be more deeply connected to each other. I'll also know that we are very excited that we anticipate next week uh, that we should start receiving the Federal CARES Act money and we will start distributing that to students just as soon as we get it to those who are eligible based on the definitions of the grant. Again, another way that our local, state, and federal agencies are working so thoughtfully to support the students of Montgomery College. I hope that each and every one of you has a wonderful weekend. It is indeed the weekend. <laughs> we want to remember that. And I'm hopeful that you made it through another week uh, safe and sound and surrounded uh, by people who care about you, including your colleagues and your friends here at Montgomery College. Hope that each of you is doing well, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Be well.